Today's a beautiful day and I thought I'd take you along on a little photo walk today and give you some ideas on my thought process about how I do composition, how I get those dramatic lighting effects like with a, getting a black background against the subject uh, in broad daylight. And then also I'm going to be combining some of the techniques I've done in my last few videos. Now for gear, I always try to keep it simple. You know, I have the EM10 Mark II with the 14 to 42 kit lens, and just, just ignore the rest of this gear uh, here, you know, simply to record the video. But like I said, I'll be combining some techniques. So I'm gonna be using my variable ND filter, and then I've got a new flash here. <laughs> I'll be doing a review on this in another video, but it's a very powerful full manual flash uh, from Young Nuo. And uh, of course, I'm gonna bring along a snoot uh, this is just a can cooler that uh, I cut the bottom out and then I can just fit it snug over the front to give me a nice narrow beam of light. Uh, and really that's it. So uh, let's go ahead into the settings I'm going to be starting with. I've been really kind of into black and white photography lately, so that's what I'll do today. Okay, so I've already done a full factory reset so that we can all be on the same page. Let's just go into the super control panel very quickly. And I'm going to change the ISO down to uh, just ISO 200. I'm going to change the white balance to sunny so it's fixed. And uh, for the focus point, I like to set it right about here so I can get sort of a uh, rule of thirds composition. Uh, starting from the bottom left going up to the top. Because eventually I want to try and get you know some leading line type pictures, etc. Uh, and then also in the control panel, we're going to leave the shutter mode here, but I'll change this to uh, just anti-shock shutter. And of course, I always like to shoot uh, large, super fine plus raw. And uh, I'll just do center weighted metering like so. And I'm going to turn off face detect. And then we're going to go into monotone. I'm going to crank the sharpness up and the con whoops and the contrast up to plus two. And since most of the foliage here today is green, uh, I'm going to use a red filter, sort of the opposite of green, uh, to kind of bring, you know, bring the, the the green and the grass, make it a little bit darker. And uh, lately, I've been kind of enjoying this purple tint. Uh, so I'm going to use that. And that's it there. And then in the control panel, or I'm sorry, in the menu, let me turn off the info box. I'm going to go into picture mode, monotone. And you can see the settings we did in the control panel, but I'm also going to change this to low key. And that's going to help me, you know, crush some of the uh, shadows down to almost black. And one last thing. And this is kind of optional, but I like to go into here in the custom menu and change everything here to super fine. Um, and then one last thing I'll do is I'm going to hit the function two button and just crush the shadows all the way down. This is effectively minus seven. Then I'm going to do a plus two on the highlights. And as you can see, it's already made quite a bit of difference in the uh, kind of image the camera's going to capture. Now in the flash, I'm going to go ahead and put my snoot on nice and snug. As you can see, I get a nice narrow beam of light out of it. Let me turn this on. And I'm just going to start at uh, 1 32nd power. Uh, this will go down to 1 1 28th power, the lowest setting. And I also have this on uh, S1 so that it'll be triggered optically by the flash on the camera. So I won't be using a radio trigger today. I'll just be doing uh, optical trigger only. All right, what I like about this shot here is we have like this dead uh, tree stump here, but then there's still life growing out of the bottom here. I like how the light's coming over here and there's a nice shadow. But what I'll do is I'm going to put these leaves in the bottom third and let me check my aperture. 
roll that down. And I really don't need to dial in so much on the ND filter, so I'm going to turn that down so I get a decent shutter speed. And let me move it just a little more. And do a shot there. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, look. We have uh, some little flowers here. All right, so let me uh, let me zoom in all the way and get a little bit closer. There, that looks pretty good. I'm getting the shadow of the camera in there. I'm gonna put the flash about here. Let's try again. See, it's not that hard, right? using manual flash. While I was walking over to the bench, I kind of ran across these, uh, these little buttercup flowers. So I'm gonna try a shot of these. I'm not sure I like this one here, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. There, we have a nice uh, rule of odds, and uh, we'll just keep the settings the same. I won't change anything. Let's just take a picture here and see what we get. Let me do 1 16th and bring the flash in really close, right about there. All right. That looks good. I have a lot of blue, and I don't see any red blinking. And let me just punch in, make sure I got focus. Okay. I see here we have some uh, wheelbarrows and uh, signs. There might be a shot here. Let's, uh, let's try something here. I think about right here will be good. Let me set up the focus point. Make that the upper thirds. Let's try that. All right, make sure we got the lighting. Way too dark, I think. I'm gonna open the, the ND filter a bit and see, because I wanna, I wanna take the first picture. I wanna be able to just barely see a little bit of the lettering. Okay, that's good. I can see a little bit of the handles of the barrels. That's good enough. Now we use our flash. Uh, since it's kind of shady here, I think I'll just uh, keep it at 1 16th power. And a good angle. I think I'll spotlight right on the sign. Just like so. Yeah, I like that. That came out pretty good. Yeah, on a bright day, you really need a variable ND filter. If you're gonna be using a off-camera flash that doesn't have high-speed sync, so you can keep the shutter speed down. And, you know, you could do that with aperture as well. But sometimes, you know, if you want a little bit of depth of field in your pictures, uh, you can continue to shoot wide open when you're using an ND filter. some dogwood up here. Ooh, I like this. I wish I was a little taller. Like this. The most impressive thing about this flash really is the, the optical trigger. Even in really bright sunlight, this thing fires. It's, it's as good as my Nikon, so I'll talk about that in my next video.